welcome back into Madison Square Garden where we are looking at the active winningest coaches in women's basketball. And we see Doug Bruno right there, recently inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame head coach, Doug Bruno, as we are so excited to welcome him into the set. And coach, first and foremost, congratulations. What a moment. How special was that for you this summer? Well, thank you very much, Megan. It's always about the players. Yeah. You're in the Hall of Fame because I've had great assistant coaches, great bosses, Dwayne PVG, Lenti Ponsetto, my assistant coaches, Jill Pizzotti, Lisa, Rick Bush, and Candace Blanks, but great players for the years. That's why you're in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, and Coach, I'm glad you took some time to celebrate yourself. We're excited to see Doug Bruno court this season at Wintrust Arena. Um, shifting a little bit to this season, Coach, you obviously returned last year's top freshman in the country, Anissa Morrow. You also graduated a very experienced backcourt. So keeping both of those things in mind, what were some of the focuses of your offseason? I think you're hitting on the word experience, Kim. And, and we have eight experienced players, Darian Rogers and Kira, Kira Collier is a sixth-year player with a lot of experience. Darion Rogers has played a lot of ball as a, as a sophomore. We have two transfers, Anaya Peoples from Notre Dame and Jade Edwards from American. So those are both veteran players. Kendall Holmes returns. I, I mean, Jory Allen started for us two years ago. So it's really about the veteran players. And Anissa Morrow is a veteran at, at this point of, of how much she played last year, of how well she played last year, breaking basically every single stat that, that she could. What stood out to you about her and her freshman season that that you didn't know about her coming in well i knew she was competitive yeah. i mean she just has this ultra in her competitiveness this inner drive to be excellent and and that's just that's what makes her i mean she she her game is really simple she runs she rebounds she finishes around the bucket but she's just a really ultra level competitor and that yeah. that's that's all you can really say about her and that's that's what separates her mm -hmm. and you've talked about her work ethic to us even in the classroom equally as so how would you describe kind of a bird's eye view of how you saw her working in the off season to put together an even better season coming up well I, we want anisa to expand her game mm -hmm. okay and so she's working on guard skills which are Every big player wants to have guard skills and exhibit their guard skills, but I'm trying to explain to her that bad players can stand on the three-point line and chuck. So <laughs> she's got to still continue to play to her strengths and and you know try to work on her versatility, but at the same time do what she does best, and that's play in and around the bucket. A lot of veterans on your roster, but with some of the newcomers or some of the newer faces, who do you t expect to take a step forward this season? Well, again, Kier Collier is in her sixth year, and she's been to a couple schools, so I, I think she has a chance to have a really, really breakout season. Darian Rogers has been playing ever since she got here as a freshman, so I, I expect Darian to really have a, a really good season as well. You know, then, then again, back to the transfers. I mean, Anaya Peoples, Played at Notre Dame. She was a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school. She's been in a big-time program, so she's going to have to step up and, and, and play well. Kendall Holmes is lying out there, too, as, as a, a player that hasn't played a lot yet because she was injured as a freshman, getting Jory Allen back. You know, we're excited about Jory's health. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really, I think it's going to be those eight players. If those eight players are all healthy and ready, I, I think we have a chance to be pretty competitive again. Mm -hmm. And coach, going back to your transfers, Anaya Peoples, Jade Edwards, first of all, they're both Chicago kids, so that's got to be pretty cool for them to be coming back. Uh, but what can you tell us a little bit more about their games that the Big East fans should be ready to, to start watching those two? Well, first of all, in the portal, we're excited that we knew them. We recruited them. We worked. It's not like we just plucked a couple players out of the portal. Mm -hmm. We've known them since they were very, very young. And you know, Anaya has just got a, a really exceptional motor. I mean, she's one of those motorized basketball players that just really goes hard all the time, a physical player, and really strong at getting to the rim. Jade Edwards is just a really versatile guard. She had four years of experience at American University and a really quality mid-major and has played with our players all summer, throughout the summer. So Jade is just a really efficient guard so I think they both bring a lot of experience and talent.